all right guys so this will be a quick update for bitcoin today um as you can see right now guys there is not a lot of price action today still for bitcoin bitcoin is basically still consolidating in this area right here um between yeah, 28,500 to about 31,300 dollars. There is not too much going on right now, but I will give you some of my price predictions, some of my midterm, long term, short term targets for Bitcoin. And I will also explain you exactly what I think will most likely happen in the next days for Bitcoin, guys. All right. First of all, make sure to subscribe, smash up the like button, leave a comment down below, guys. Let me also know your thoughts down below in the comments. And check out the $4,500 bonus down below in my description on Bybit. Check out my Patreon for all of my trade signals. And yeah, with that being said, I would say let's not waste too much time. Jump straight into today's price prediction, guys. And the first thing I want to check out real quick is, is the current market situation on the whole cryptocurrency market. You can see today is not a good day, guys. For now, um, the crypto. Uh, market cap overall is currently down about 2.93 percent bitcoin currently down about 3.26 percent and yeah ethereum also down about 3.37 percent a lot of altcoins are also going down right now bitcoin down in the last 30 days around 30 percent that's definitely crazy to see and like i said we are basically just bouncing still back and forth between 28 to about 30 31k right so guys sooner or later i'm expecting definitely still a big breakout on bitcoin for now like i said i'm still expecting a breakout to about 34k maybe in the next couple of days already it seems like bitcoin is definitely Bitcoin has basically too much selling pressure right now, not in the four hour time frame, but if you're looking into the daily time frame right now, guys, you can see that we had since we topped out right here and uh, yeah, end of March around 48K, we had a sell off of about 47% and not even one very strong bounce on Bitcoin, guys. So basically for about uh, April, May, yeah, for about six or seven weeks already, we had not uh, one bounce on Bitcoin, guys. Not one rally on Bitcoin overall. So that's why I think still that if we are able to take out this area of supply, guys, around 30, th around there, yeah, 30k, 31k or so, and if we are going to see a strong daily close somewhere right here, this could bring us a potential short squeeze, guys, in my opinion, to around $34,000. This is still my opinion for Bitcoin in the immediate short term, like I said. If we are able to hold this sideways consolidation quite well and if you're not breaking below $28,500, guys, this is also very important to mention for now because the thing is, if you're going into the four hour time frame, man, how did I draw this line right here with my hand right now? So, guys, you can see that there is definitely some demand for Bitcoin, right? Around $28,600. We've been bouncing from this area for about three times already. Right here for one time about seven or eight days ago, right there for one time about three days ago, and also right there yesterday we bounced already from $28,600, $28,700. As long as we are able to hold this key support area for Bitcoin, guys, and we are not breaking down below it, and we are not going to see a daily close somewhere right here between $28,500 to about $28,200, I think there is still a chance that Bitcoin could see a relief rally, like I said, to approximately 34K or so. Otherwise, I have also to tell you that if Bitcoin should break below this key support and we are going to see a daily close below it, you have to take in consideration that a lot of people are currently um, buying the dip, right? buying dip and taking huge swing long positions if they're getting stopped out guys i think worst case scenario for bitcoin right now would be a potential sell-off maybe back again to about twenty five thousand four hundred dollars like i said i'm not expecting that i think bitcoin will most likely see a relief rally to about 34k before we are getting into these price areas again anyways guys if you also want to trade bitcoin like i said i have down below in my description an exclusive four thousand five hundred dollar bonus on bybit all you have to do is just to sign up, use my link down below my description and in the pinned comments. And then after your initial deposit, you can always make sure to withdraw this money back again into your wallet if you're profitable with trading. Very important, guys, only for experienced traders. If you want to know how I'm trading Bitcoin, if you want to know how I'm taking my setups with my exact stop losses and take profit targets, check out my Patreon for my private Discord community access, also down below in the description. But yeah, this is basically it, guys. The most important part right now, 
we have just to hold above $28,600 and then we could see, like I said, already a potential breakout to about 34k as long as we are able to take out this area of resistance around $31,200. Dollars. If you are going to the weekly time frame, guys, this is also very sad to see. You can see the weekly time frame is closing in about one day and 14 hours. So basically in about th th yeah 38 hours or so. And guys, we are closing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red weekly candles in a row, guys, right? And this is definitely not very nice to see right now. No one was expecting that, especially right now, if you're also looking at the S&P 500, you can also, bro, you can also see S&P 500 is closing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, weekly red candles in a row. If you are going into a four hour time frame, there is also a lot of um, a lot of selling pressure coming in for for the S&P 500 around 3,800 guys and um, I'm always telling you that if you want to trade Bitcoin you should always take a look at, at the traditional markets and always try to understand what the S&P 500 is doing and based on that you can make your decisions if you want to get if you want to take short or long trades on Bitcoin guys right and yeah Overall, I am still bullish. Short term, I think Bitcoin will most likely recover to about 34k. Then maybe over the summer, we will see some choppy price action and Bitcoin could maybe go down to about 26k again or so. We could see some sideways consolidation right here. And then I still believe that at the end of the year, maybe after some price action like that, we are going to see maybe another retest around 22k or so. And then at the end of the year, guys, I think Bitcoin will most likely go to new all-time highs to approximately, I don't know, maybe $80,000, $90,000 or so. This is what I'm expecting right now on Bitcoin long-term, guys. Long-term, I think beginning of 2023 or so, we are going to new all-time highs. And for now, if you're accumulating and if you are taking this opportunity and just buying Bitcoin so low between 30 to about 22, 22 25k, I think you will be very happy when Bitcoin is going to trade about 80 or 90, 100k or so. And yeah, guys, with that being said, this was the quick update for today. Like I said, don't panic right now. I think there is definitely some kind of relief rally coming for Bitcoin. There should be another breakout coming to about $34,000 or so for now. What I would basically do is just accumulate and just take this opportunity and buy Bitcoin so cheap like it was never before for the last um, one and a half years years or so i'm still accumulating i'm not getting tired of accumulating guys always try to keep some money on the sidelines that if bitcoin is going down lower to about 22k and we are going to see this 200 sma line retest from 22 thousand dollars that you are able to accumulate right here at these low prices and yeah guys i will keep you updated um and make sure to subscribe smash up the like button leave a comment down below guys turn on the notifications bell share this video with your friends and i would say i will see you later for another update guys bye bye